Well, hopefully those deer enjoy the snow because perhaps a little bit more on the way, Mike? Yeah, there's going to be just a little bit. That's the uh, big change to this forecast here, Hannah. We talked about the potential last night that this trend could either be for a snowier system or a storm that kind of goes out to sea and doesn't impact us nearly as much. And it looks like that is probably what's going to happen here. And I'll explain what has changed in just a second. First and foremost, we do have some lighter flurries starting to appear on the radar, especially to the west of the I-91 corridor in the Connecticut River Valley. But a lot of this moisture will make its way toward us. I wouldn't be surprised to hear of some flurries across parts of Coas County and into western sections of Maine over the next few hours, but especially overnight tonight. This isn't the most impressive storm system, but there's some more moderate snowfall through the capital region of New York State and then down toward Binghamton and the Pennsylvania border. And south of that is where we see more rain getting mixed in New York City, New Jersey and south to the Delmarva Peninsula. Mostly rain at this point and not much coming behind it. So this storm as a whole is really not all that impressive. It had the potential to be, but I don't think it's going to end up being a blockbuster storm by any means. Over the next few hours, cloud cover increases, mostly cloudy skies expected tonight. Eventually will be to overcast conditions for most of Maine and New Hampshire by about midnight, and that's when we have the best chance to see some flurries start to work their way in. I think that in southwestern Maine, York County especially, we could see an inch or two by about noon tomorrow, and then the storm itself actually shifts away from us later in the day. Some breaks of sun possible in the evening hours, clearing skies for overnight Monday into Tuesday, but that cloud cover eventually builds right back in by Tuesday morning. So here's what I'm thinking. I did adjust this map a little bit from this morning. So this is tonight through Monday. We could see a dusting to an inch through the western mountains south of Portland, maybe one to three inches along I-95. I'm really not all that enthusiastic about this, and the snow itself is going to be fairly light. So minimal impacts expected, which is great news for anybody who has to travel. Not great news if you were hoping to build that snowpack back up. So here's the storm. Notice that it runs into this high pressure here, and that actually pushes it back closer to the coast of Maine, but it still stays too far away. Now we will see some light snow showers on Tuesday, and there's a chance that we could actually see some higher totals through the mid coast and then inland to Augusta. This all depends on if we can get just a little bit more energy through, but I still think that all of these numbers are gradually going to trend down. You'll see this dusting to one inch area get expanded. And then after that, our eyes are focused on whatever happens Saturday. More snow potential uh, to end off the week. This, I think, is still probably going to trend away from us, but it's just worth watching to see if that storm track is going to shift at all. Seas tomorrow going to be 4 to 6 feet. Northeast wind 15 to 20 knots, gusting to 30 knots. 7 day forecast inland, a lot of 30s. Blustery on Wednesday as that storm clears out and then watching that storm again on Saturday. Since we'll be on the cold side, I did bring temperatures down for Saturday and Sunday next week. Then we start to clear out for Sunday and maybe we keep things quieter heading into Monday, but there's always the potential for more storms and Hannah. The pattern for the end of the month looks interesting and possibly colder and stormy. We'll talk about that as we get closer. All right. Thank you, Mike.